What we are teaching when we teach you Tranquil Wisdom Insight Meditation is an operative meditation that can be used in life to release stress and tension, recenter your mind to a better focus, and help you change your perspective in life. It's a wonderful teaching, and um, we have been reviewing in our class uh, today, we have been reviewing uh, the perspective, the view, the perspective you have of life is your view. And the right view in Buddhism is an impersonal perspective, one that sees things very clearly and does not spend much time with what is unessential uh, from the past that is similar to what is happening now. So you're seeing what's happening right now or what you're working on right now in the present time much more easily. Now, our perspective, if we have an impersonal perspective, that affects our mind. And the mind is important because the mind is the forerunner of all mind states. And the mind is the control center of the human body. So our states of mind, that affects how we feel about our health and feel good or bad in our body and we are strong and fit, we have a better perspective to life very often. Now, restlessness is a state that people suffer from today. Restlessness, anxiousness about the future, lots of concern because of COVID. And when we talk about that, restlessness is a state that comes first in the mind, but the body follows and the result of restlessness is a body that can't stop moving. That's because nama and rupa, the madi, the material, uh, the mind, material body and the mind are connected. This mind-body connection, once again, mind was the forerunner of the states which uh, affect the human body. Restlessness is a state which has arisen, comes first from the mind and the body follows. Now, how we get out of this restlessness? Well, uh, the volition, we have volition as a human being that is, we can create our own will. The strength of our will is changing. Our will can always change the situation, uh, the disagreement, the conflict. We can stop, we can watch and listen, stop taking things personally and uh, taking an anatta perspective, impersonal perspective. This is not me, this is not mine, this is not myself. I can step back, I can watch what's happening, not take it personally, okay? And I can be fine because a, a, a Nietzsche is going to happen, that's the impermanence of everything, and the impermanence will happen. So we ponder on the action the inclination of the mind. And that mind comes to action. We create, this is how we are creating. We are creating our own experience. In day to day, we are creating our own experience. That also means something else. And the rest of the story is the world that you think about in your mind, the perfect world you want to build, the one you always want to have happen, is an illusion in your mind right now because you think it isn't possible. But this is a deception until you understand what I just said and how everything works. You are in more control of your life than you think. Once you understand how experience works, that's when everything gets really interesting and you get more content and strong in your mind, in your body, in your life. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.